Hello my peace Shastic peeps. I just wanted to come in and say something real quick. The shout out of today's video is from Art of Elephant. And if you guys are actually interested in what she is saying, me drawing you guys profile pictures, go ahead and comment down below in the comments this emoji. And you guys may just have a chance for me to draw your profile pictures. So without further ado, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the video and I'll catch you in the next one. I do wanna say that I am, since I will be drawing some of you guys' profile pictures, please try not to make it too, too hard. And it has to be appropriate and, you know, not outrageously hard. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you guys soon. Hi, my peach tassel peeps. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to do something a little fun and a little different. So I'm wanting to draw today, and on Pinterest, I found a ton of prompts. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to follow a prompt that I saw on Pinterest and create something that has to do with the prompt. I had a lot of fun doing this, so let's just get right into the video. So on my Pinterest page, I have a lot of prompts and different things. So I am think I'm just gonna start at one and just kind of run with it. So how about this one? Okay, alphabet A through, I don't know. But the second one says acorn fairy. Let's try it. My window is open, so if you hear birds singing, that is why. Okay. I'm gonna fix this. So, we are drawing an acorn fairy. Let me get my pencil. This is a weird, kind of interesting thing to draw, but I'm, kind of, I'm gonna close the window. But I'm kind of curious to see how it's gonna turn out. So, I have my pencil. And I guess we're just gonna start. So what's kind of coming to mind a little bit is that, remember from like Tinkerbell and the boy that I guess Tinkerbell liked or something? Had like an acorn hat. So I think I'm gonna kind of include that. And then acorn fairy. So let me just draw a, I haven't drew a fairy. I don't even think I have like a fairy OC. So this is gonna be fun. have so acorn what makes her so acorn -y? i kind of had her arms flaring out kind of like that basically the way how i do it i don't know i like have an acorn tree where i live and sometimes we grab the acorns and like peel it open or something and sometimes acorns can be a little hard to open I don't know why I said that, but I'm trying to brainstorm. What if she's like a something that has to do like why would you need a helmet? Is she like a racing fairy? Is she like a I don't know, but I think we're just gonna draw the eyes first. We're looking towards the right, and then I kind of wanna have like the acorn like helmet on her, like not helmet, but yeah, it will act as a helmet, but um, will be like the lid, this part. You know what I forgot to do? Her eyebrows. I would say like, I don't know like what's the sport or name, but I want her to do like, like she's in an area where she has to do like hard things, like like training or like like obstacle courses to be in a certain group and maybe she's like having to be she's like forced herself into the group to be with the cool girls or cool kids or something like that okay enough of that so we got her face down and i was thinking maybe her like wings kind of mimic an oak not oak, but like an oak leaf or like one of those big brown leaves. Maybe. I always like to do like half of it, half of my illustration. 
and then see if I like it. And if I don't, then I can see what it was before. No, I think I'm just gonna keep it. Mm. Just leave it alone. Kinda wanna add a skirt on her. Pencil skirt. I'm really loving the sketchbook. It's like, I can definitely tell the quality difference between a $5 sketchbook and a $20 sketchbook. It's really good. I want this to be like cool though. I just want to add a shirt to her and call it done. What will be different? I keep thinking of like Merida, those like Vikings or villagers or something where they have a hat and a checkered skirt. Okay, finished drawing the hands. It turned out pretty good. I feel like I'm getting, I'm just getting like better and better drawing hands. Just look at those. Look at the hands. I'm showing you guys. Look at the hands. Look at the hands. Do you guys want a hand tutorial? I can probably drop one. She's so cute. I really like her. Well, that was fun. This is my little fairy. I really like her. Okay, so I'm going to get back on my laptop and see if I can find any other prompts. Okay, how about... Let's see what this one's about. The first one says a swan, an animal day. Why not? Okay, so what we're gonna do now is draw a swan. I'm gonna look up a reference photo. I've been seeing like a lot of duck pictures on Pinterest and I love them so much. They're just so cute. And I love it because like you can see when they're smiling. It's just so pretty, I just love it. I'm thinking I'm gonna do this one. So, it's my reference photo. So, the, hey, should I draw it down low? Up high. Doesn't look like a whole bunch right now. I'm just trying to draw the basic structure of it. And then it also has like this like thing. What is it? It's like a black thing right on its nose. There's like one swan. I'm looking looking at this like couple swans. And there's two of them and there's one that has uh like a thing on its nose and then the other one doesn't. It has like, so like the beak is yellow. This whole like white space I'm trying to make white is like will be yellow. And then where it's dark would be like the dark parts. And then it connects like right into the eye. And then the fur, not the fur, but the, like the feathers on this bird look so like tight and like so strong. <laughs> but the feathers on it, especially on the neck just look so like short and tight. I'm literally just going on Pinterest and drawing what they're wanting me to draw. That was fun. I like drawing animals. The next one is a bumblebee on the same like prompt list. Ah! <laughs> a bumblebee. I just I think the reason why I really don't like like bumblebees is just because they're so big. They're just so big and so like they're like this big and they're just so thick i just don't like it i guess i'm just gonna draw it from the side that already looks weird this is a reference photo i'm kind of going by this one and the black part and i can just leave the non the yellow part just no color and then the black part's bigger and then the end is like white from the bumblebee which is something I haven't really, I didn't really know. 
I didn't know that. So, I'm learning. So, woohoo. <laughs> woohoo! That was better. That's my bumblebee. That was really fun creating the, like, this fairy. So, like, I'm gonna see what else I can try to make. Also, I wanna try to color something. Oh, okay, so I found a prompt. I think this fits perfect to what I was just saying. So it's an OC maker. And it says, first you choose the gender, skin, color, age, and body type. And then it tells you everything to do. So we're gonna follow this and create something. Okay, so I don't have enough room to draw another human right here. So I'm just gonna go to my other page on this page. And then as we fill up, continue to fill up the sketchbook, I'll put something right here. So. I have to choose the gender, skin color, age, and body type. So I, I'm just gonna do that, and then I decorate it by LC Maker. Okay, so I want it to be a girl. I have to change my pencil because my other one was running out of the eraser. So okay, so I think this is a good base because whatever how my illustration is gonna turn out, I can decide from there with the eyes, the everything else. So the first thing that they say, so I picked a gender girl. I haven't picked the skin color yet, but I'll do that probably after I'm been doing everything. So, okay, hair is your favorite color. It is curly if you're a cat person, straight if you are a dog person. Well, I'm a dog person, so it's gonna be straight. And my favorite color, Favorite color is pink and green. Oh, I say pink. So she's gonna have straight pink hair. Okay, straight. Okay, these ponytails got to go. They got to go. I don't like them anymore. Okay, so this is a hairstyle. This one's up, like over her face and this one's behind her ear. Okay. Straight pink hair, and the next one says the eyes are the color of your shirt. Okay. If it's summer for you, give them a swimsuit or a tank top and shorts. If it's fall, give them a t-shirt. Spring, give them dress tuxedo winter, give them a sweater and sweatpants. Well, it's summer. So I'm going to give her a tank top and shorts. I think I want to give her like a crop top tank top. She's in number 1 through 15. Look up color palettes and start from the first result. Count up to the number you choose that color palette is the color of the outfit. Hmm? Wait. Let me read that again. Choose a number one through 15. Okay. Five. Look up color palettes. Interesting. This is fun. Okay. Start from the first result. Start from the first result. Count up to the number you chose. Oh, really? I can have chose five. I want to bring five colors. I think I chose like. 10. Okay, well, I changed my mind. <laughs> it's gonna be five. <laughs> Start from the first result. Count up to the number you chose. Start with the first result. Oh, well, it's black. So, so do they mean like this is like the website, right? Oops, oh, sorry, you can't even see it. This is the website. Okay, so. I'm gonna just refresh, and then since my color, my number, what is five, 
So the first color that comes to mind, I just do I lock it and then reload again and then lock. I am not sure. So found this color palette. So I'm just going to stick with this one and it's pretty. So yeah. Okay. So let's finish sketching the rest of this. Uh, if you are a male, give them either a top hat, a wristwatch, a necklace, or sunglasses. If you are female, give them either a headband, a bow, a bracelet, or a baseball cap. Okay, I'm um, female, of course. Uh, headband, bow, bracelet, or baseball cap. Bracelet. Choose number one through four. Once you choose, keep reading. Two. Once you choose, keep reading. One is sneakers, two is heels. <gasps> no. Slash fancy dress shoes, three is boots, and four is flip flops. I was gonna pick four. No. Heels. He's wearing biker shorts. Really? Fancy dress shoes. Okay, so. Ow. Wee. I found fancy dress shoes, and I think I'm gonna go with like these ones. So. That's what she's gonna wear. It's like dressy, but it's not so dressy. So it's like the best one I can find. Gotta kinda, I gotta learn how to draw feet, man. <laughs> gotta learn. If your favorite color is red, orange, yellow, add acne. Really? If your favorite color is green, blue, add freckles. Yes! My favorite color, well, I'll add two favorite colors. If your favorite color is pink or purple, add glasses. If your favorite color is something else, add nothing. Well, at first I said my favorite color was pink for the hair. Now my favorite color is green because I already did pink. And I'm going to add freckles. So yeah, that's fair. Don't come for me. You want to hear the story? Okay. I was really little one time and we were, and I was out somewhere with my mom and I saw this woman, I saw freckles on someone for the first time and she, I think she was like a redhead and she had freckles all over her body and me being very little <laughs> was like, what are all those spots all over your body? And then she was like, they're kisses from heaven. And I was like, oh, really? Was so I was so happy like so like oh my gosh really she's like yeah I was like that's so cool I didn't cry but I love adding freckles to my characters they're so pretty and then it's even like with some people I knew some people who like hated their freckles I was like oh my gosh but you're so beautiful love yourself okay now it's time for me to color ink and get this girl all together i'm going to ink it off camera and i'm going to come back to you guys when it's time to color i couldn't find my needed eraser so i'm taking this and just Ta -da! <laughs> okay so this is how i how it looks i colored the hair like I lined the hair with a pink pen and we're gonna see how it works because I seen other artists use pink pens and different like colored liners and their art always looks so smooth and just so clean. So that's what I did for her. Okay, so we're gonna start with the hair. Okay, I did the hair. It's kind of cute. It is a little scary. I haven't colored gray eyes before, but I'm hoping once I put like the highlight in the eye, it will look better. That's better. See, it's just it just makes everything so much better now.
I absolutely love the way how it's turning out. It looks so good. I love her skin tone against this pink hair. It's so nice. And all of her freckles are just so beautiful. Okay, now for the clothes. So I'm gonna just try to match up the colors as best as I can and color it like that. Yeah, I'm so excited. This was such a cool like challenge. So if you guys are like wanting to have access to this um, prompt board that I was just following, it's on my Pinterest page. So just hop over there and grab it for yourself. And if you have Pinterest page, you can save it. It's so much fun. Colors are pretty good. I did, I did a pretty good job. See? This is like the colors for the swatch and these are the real colors. So I think I did a pretty good job. I really like how it turned out. It looks really good. So I did her like fancy shoes, like a pink, so I can bring some of the pink that's up here down here. And yeah, that's how it turned out. I'm just gonna add like little glitter sparkly bits down here. Show that they're fancy. And I'm like, okay, that's it. I don't wanna add too much and it's overwhelming. Well, that is that drawing. I like how that turned out. Okay, so what I'm deciding to name the fairy is Zoe. Oh, Zoe. Okay, now I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw like another fairy, but I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna draw a duck. Uh, this is like real time how I really fill up my sketchbook, guys. I was coloring this duck and I thought I was recording this whole time. I just lost. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, well, this is the duck. I was coloring and stuff and I thought y'all were looking at it, but you were. <laughs> I added a crown to it because I saw someone do it. I don't even know if y'all heard me say that part, but I saw someone do it and I wanted to add it to my little duck friend. I'm gonna put some line art on it. Every single yellow color that I have. Maybe. Okay, I just kind of decorated the page with hearts. I love that duck so much. <laughs> I had to calm down for a second. It's so cute. What else? Passion fruit doesn't look too appealing. But when it's a drink, it looks like that. That's interesting. So I have no idea what it tastes like. So I'm gonna try to, you know, try to see. Uh, I'm gonna kind of cheat and roll it again. 12. 
cherry okay so for cherry i think i want to kind of make her tail maybe one big tail the reason i feel like that's better i'm just thinking of like space buns we do space buns over here with zoe and then i tried to do pigtails with her maybe these pigtails will finally look right <laughs> let's try it again that's cute my whole sketchbook keeps going out of frame too so just don't mind that I'm like wanting everything to be super round and I just came up with this idea where she would be wearing like this like bubble kind of shirt. I love doing these like title things <laughs> if you haven't already noticed. Okay. Um I would say this part would be green. I don't know if I'm gonna color it though, just because I feel like, I don't wanna ruin the vibe of everything I already have going on with uh, red and green right there. And since cherries are just really smooth, let's say her tail's kinda shiny. I don't know, it just seems so plain to me. Mm, I don't know, I just feel like it's just so simple. And I wanna add a friend, an animal companion to her. Hmm. Oh, a seahorse. What if she has a different seahorse? I'm gonna look at a reference. There we go. It's much better. Okay, well that's it. I'm so happy. I absolutely love the way how this spread turned out. I'm so proud of myself. I filled up this whole spread in one day on video. I mean, I can fill up a whole spread in a day. But like on video. That's pretty much an accomplishment. So pretty proud of myself. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Like, I love Zoe. She's so cool. I really like how this turned out. It was really, I think it looks really cool with like her, her wings that look like leaves and her whole like outfit and vibe. The swan, the bumblebee, the duck. It's really all cute. And this, doing this was so much fun with creating an OC based on you. This was so much fun. And I think it turned out awesome. So yeah. And then lastly, our little mermaid friend. So that we made that was inspired by a cherry. So yeah, I really hope you guys like it. And I will see you in the next one. Let me, um, let me write the date on this. I wanna kinda of add a little bit more hearts too. Barely add anything, but hey, I like it even more now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I love you guys. And I hope you have a peach tastic perfect, blessed day. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!